Hello, my name is Jackie Smith and it's the 12th of October 2014 and I'm at the Hall of Fame at Rayford in North Carolina. Um, I started skydiving by accident after joining the British military um, in 1969 and I was too young to be posted abroad and was posted to Aldershot where the British Army Airborne are based and I used to watch the men jumping out of the barrage balloon on Queen's Avenue which was the local drop zone in the, um, in the town and uh, I put my name down for a parachuting course thinking that I'd be jumping out of the barrage balloon and uh, ended up going on a joint service parachute course with the military and I completed 15 jumps and it absolutely changed my life. I, um, I previously had competed in swimming and badminton and squash and trampolining and everything else just fell by the wayside because it took over like a drug. And I c continued to skydive on a weekend and entered the army championships competing against uh, mainly men and I won the novices event and um, at the end of the competition Major Schofield who was the team commander of the parachute regiment freefall team the Red Devils he came up to me and gave me a pat on the back which was the greatest encouragement anybody can have and he told me to keep it up because I had talent so I kept on parachuting through the year and towards the end of the year um, he contacted me to ask me if I would like to join the Red Devils as the first female on an all military parachute team in the world. So um, well, I was delighted and uh, I wasn't about to say no. Um, Major Schofield was very polite and wrote to my parents to let them know that I was going to be set free with 29 men and uh, that he would look after me and, um, and that was the start of my seven year tour with the Red Devils. Um, I stayed with the team for seven years and I jumped into every field and every show, every air show in the UK and abroad. I uh, jumped onto Cop Copacabana Beach in Brazil, jumping with the military into big international air shows around the world and um, um, I just became uh, the face of skydiving in the UK because not many women were doing anything with uh, all male teams. One significant thing happened to me when I was taking part in my first demonstration with the team and it was into a big show in Swansea on, uh, on the Welsh uh, coastline and I was jumping around parachute in a, in a big B4 backpack and as I dived out of the aircraft I um, caught the do top of my backpack on the door frame and unbeknownst to me I, I bent my top pin so when I came in to pull, it was cross pull at the time, I um, couldn't pull the pin because it had bent the, the top plate so I had to deploy my reserve, and my reserve inverted, and I blew 13 panels from apex to periphery. So I only had, you know, half a parachute, and um, I came down at quite a speed, and uh, I landed in the sea, about 400 yards out to sea. Unfortunately, I was wearing a RFD life jacket, so as I hit the water, I had to pull the little lifeguard toggle heard and it inflated and then I nearly drowned because the main parachute was still in the container and um, the rescue boat that was supposed to be there to pick me up didn't arrive so I bobbed about in the water for about 20 minutes until one of my teammates landed on the beach and swam out to me but by the time he got to me he was tired so I had to keep him afloat Eventually we got back to dock, somebody did come and pick me up and the next day the national newspapers had hold of it 
TV wanted to interview me and um, it put the Red Devils in, in the public eye big time and we suddenly got lots of sponsorship from like Mercedes-Benz and um, other people because they knew that the high profile of a female being on an all-male parachute team. In 1978 uh, I'd been on three British teams at this time and I came to Rayford in North Carolina and trained for about five weeks um, I used to do six jumps a day. We used to have to take a, a break during the day because it was too hot and the aircraft wouldn't climb and there was thermal monsters throwing us about at lunchtime. So we used to stop at lunchtime, take a few day, a few hours off. And um, Jean Paul Thacker was instrumental in everything I did, you know, my success. He used to kick my butt hard, would not let me get away with a dirty dead centre as he used to call it, dirty dead centre if I got one centimetre and um, I took what I learned from him to the world championships in Zagreb and um, I was the first person in the world, male or female, to score ten consecutive dead centres back to back on an electronic pad and um, it was just amazing, just the most amazing feeling in the world to be a world champion and standing on that podium crying my eyes out to my, listening to my national anthem. I, it was the proudest moment in my life and um, I, I, I just thank everybody that's been instrumental in my life that's given me the opportunity to be the person I am and be as successful as I am. If I hadn't have joined the army I would not have taken up skydiving. If I hadn't have seen those men jumping out of the barrage balloon in Aldershot and introducing me to my very first parachute, I'd never even been in an aeroplane before I did my first jump, I'd never seen skydiving and I didn't even know freefall existed but it completely changed me. It's introduced me to a most magnificent family of people. It's the best leveller on earth. I've, I've drank beer and got drunk with generals and as a private soldier in, in the military I just would not have been able to uh, mix with people of that calibre if I hadn't have been in the same playing field of skydiving. And I'd say to anybody Whatever you fancy doing, do it. If it's not for you, or don't feel ashamed, but if you do like doing it, something like skydiving can change your life for the rest of your life. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>